tonight, brothers and sisters, we are going now into the second coming because after the white horse, there is nothing else to be accomplished than the second coming of Jesus. So tonight, we're going to be just doing a little bit of recap and our topic is entitled, Time to... Who want go home? Me want go home, brethren. Time for go home now. Time to go home. Let's get into it. Now, I want to just give you a recap that we are the papacy is setting up the stage putting things in place so that your freedom will be taken away from you you won't be able to speak the truth you won't be able to defend yourself you won't be able to preach the gospel your rights in terms of money and spending will be taken away from you you will be poorer the bible says there's only going to be two classes rich and poor most people will be poor and the bible tells us brothers and sisters that in the last days just before jesus come sorry about that just before jesus come you and i will be in total control by this system the bible calls it a babylonian system now let us look now this i saw this and i want to my friend read he's a good friend of mine he's a security guard god bless you my brother and he sent me this video today this is fresh off the press this this woman her name is mitchell bachman she's a congresswoman from the united states and she went to the world health organization session and she heard and she observed a few things that they are planning for us and she went there in june of this month and i told you the bible is let me tell you something brothers and sisters the bible is true there is no book that is more advanced than god's word today no book at all and i and i showed you from the scripture that they are going to implement policies through a health crisis through a what brethren health crisis the mark of the beast will be implemented will be applied just like how you see the mandates in the covid 19 was applied so they're going to use a health crisis to implement the policies that will confirm strengthen the mark of the beast all right now listen to what she said i want the sound here now my sister all right i'm going to turn it up here a little bit i want you to listen to what she discovered just uh, at the beginning of the month this clip was uh, is on youtube and it was placed there on june 7th of this month june 7th and i want you to listen very carefully what is coming for us listen to this brothers and sisters congresswoman bachman tell us a little bit about what you experienced when you went to geneva switzerland and were a part of at least the uh, audience listening to all the things going on at the world health organization i was there watching observing seeing they weren't shy they weren't reticent to tell us what was going on what was very sad is there wasn't one member of the u.s house of representatives that was there for this meeting there wasn't one member of the united states senate that was there they managed to find airplanes and attend world economic forum meetings but they didn't attend this meeting and this is has such profound consequences for every person on earth because the plan envisioned is that every person on earth would come under the dominion and control of the World Health Organization. It was just Monday of this week, one week after the World Health Assembly concluded that there was a, an actual absolute bombshell press, uh, press letter that went out that said the European Union has already developed a global digital passport that would regulate um, the ability of people to take transportation, and it would also regulate our health issues. That global digital passport, which essentially would be a QR code on your mobile phone, the, an individual would have to be in compliance with the mandates of the World Health Organization in order to be able to travel, in yeah. order to be able to move about. So this was announced on Monday. They didn't wait to pass amendments or pass a global treaty. 
They announced that the World Health Organization is adopting what Europe came up with that already covers 80 countries out of the 194. The question is, when will the United States go into this system? Because this is how you enforce global government through this global digital passport. It is a reality. And Monday it was announced that the WHO will take over the European uh, digital passport. And they also stated this will be the first building block, presumably merging digital currency, digital health records, our entire life will eventually be merged onto this digital QR code. And they said the effective date is June of 2023. In other words, right now, this. In other words, when? Right now. So you see, I know, make me, this is not conjecture. When needs will come. And by the way, I'm not saying that needs in and of itself is evil. But what I'm saying is, is where is it going? Are you understanding what I'm saying, church? So needs is not the mark of the beast. Yes? And I'm not here to condemn people who will take it and so on and so forth for ID. Remember, Jesus and his parents were taxed. The Bible says that they were taxed, they went up, and they were taxed. That taxes is not something that we like to pay, but we do pay. Yes? But it is where it is going, brothers and sisters. And the woman is very clear. This just happened this month. And they said they are ready. They now we even wait upon the treaty. They are doing it now. They are doing it now. So are we in trouble? Yes, we are in trouble. But who will change this? Only Jesus. Only Jesus. Watch this now, brothers and sisters. And see, this same um, application that is going to be for the COVID, for, for your vaccine, for your ID, they are going to apply this to climate change. See the same thing. Everything, and I showed you last night, China is the best system, they says, that will be implementing the mark of the beast. And we see what is happening down in China. They ghost you if, they don't, if you're not following the rules, if you're not, quote unquote, a good citizen, and all of these things. They are going to do the same thing with climate change. They are doing it right now as a pilot project right in, the uh, right in Europe and in other places across the world. It is coming, brothers and sisters. It is coming, Melbrook Heights. It is coming, Arborview. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Watch this. Moving on. Listen to this. And this is why I told you that the Vatican will push will implement sunday observance by law why because it is the mark of their authority listen to this it says sunday is our mark of authority the church is above the bible and this transference of sabbath observance is proof of that fact when you look at the bible the horn the little horn in Daniel 7 and 8 represents the papacy. The beast that comes up out of the sea. Next week we're going to talk more about that. And we will show you from scripture. We will confirm it from scripture. That this entity, this Part, this, mar, um, this beast power is going to take over the world. It is the most dangerous organization in the end entire world brothers and sisters and it will not be destroyed only by god no man made can destroy this only god can do that so let us make it very clear all right so what happens next we talked about the um the white horse last night let's pick up from there and then we go into the second coming are we ready brothers and sisters Buckle your seatbelt. It says, and after these things, I saw another angel come down from where, brethren? From heaven. Having what now? Great power. And the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice saying, what is he saying? Babylon is, the great is fallen. Is fallen. And is become the habitation of devils and the whole of every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. That's the Holy Ghost coming upon the church. And this is the message. In other words, listen to what it says. For all nations, this is the message. For all, how many of the nations? All nations have drunk of the wine. Wine means doctrine, teachings. Yes? 
of the wrath of her fornication and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her and the merchants the kings meaning the rulers the merchants meaning the corporate governors the the, the business people the amazons the, the the big corporations the jp morgans and all these people it says the earth have wax rich with the abundance of her delicacies and i heard another voice from heaven saying what the, what is this voice saying come out of what come out of her my people that ye be not partakers of her sins and that ye receive not of her what plagues so the call is to come out of false worship come out of false system come out of the sunday movement sunday observance and by the way it is not against the day itself is what the day represents for them. Are you understanding what I'm saying, church? So Sunday is a normal, regular day. That is good. It's okay. We go to church on Sunday. Don't we do that, brethren? Yes, we go to church on Sunday. But the fact is, is what it represents for them. Just like the Sabbath represents for God, Sunday represents for them. The Sabbath represents God being the creator. Sustainer. How many days did he make the world? Six days. And what did he do? Rested on the seventh day. Who rested? Did man rest first or God? God rested first. The, 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 look here. The day can be a normal day. But if God said bless, I want a different day that. Are you catching what I'm saying, church? A two things make something consecrated by God. God says it and his presence dwell in it. Are you understanding what I say, church? So when God says, be ye holy, for what? I am holy. He declares, he says that what? You are a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people. He declares you holy. But then, he not only declare you, he come in you. Amen, church? Yes, the Holy Spirit dwell in you and you become holy. That's why in the church, we don't make people run up and down. Why? Because God's presence is there. He declares the church holy, his bride. On Mount Sinai, I had the privilege of going to Mount Sinai. Is Mount Sinai holy now? No, it's not. Why? Because what? His presence is not there anymore. But when he was given the Ten Commandments, was, the, was, um, was, was Mount Sinai holy at that time? Absolutely. The Bible says that not even animals could touch the mountain. Because God's presence was there. And the same thing with the Sabbath. The Sabbath becomes holy, not only because God says so, but he can keep it too. So in presence is in it. Amen, church? Yes. When Jesus came here, was he a Sabbath keeper? Yes, of course. Because I him get from creation. Yeah. So he mean I go do it. So he said, come out of that false system of worship. Why? Because they're going to receive what? The plagues. So that is what happens after. After the message has been preached to the entire world. Even Antarctica will hear the message. Anybody up at the North Pole, they're going to hear it. It will be all over the world. Powerful stuff. The Bible says people will reject and accept. The Bible says that after Jesus take off him, 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 him high priestly garment, him put on him, 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 him garment of vengeance. He must come to come punish. And he must come to come colic in people. No. So the seven last plagues fall on those who are lost. Those who are what? Lost. They are lost. Yes. They have not given up their sins. And so they remain in their sins. And punishment comes down upon them. When was the last time you hear about plagues? When was the last time God gave plagues to a bunch of people? In Egypt. Don't it? Yes. Same thing. Same thing. Listen to this. During that time, visitors, when you see the last plague, Lord have mercy. If you are alive during that time, and the last and the plagues then start fall upon you, don't even start praying, because you're last already. Your last long time. Yes, your last long time. Probation closes. That's why the Bible says in Revelation 22, verse 11, read with me. He that is unjust, let him be unjust 
Still. He that which is filthy, let him be filthy. Still. He that is what now? Righteous. Let him be righteous still. He that is holy, let him be holy still. Probation close. Probation close. That is where you can't, that means you can't change again. You can't change again. So no is the, that's why Jesus says today, if you hear his voice, what must you not do? Harden not your heart. So all the visitors who are coming night after night, and you're at the periphery, and you're not coming, you're not responding, Jesus has talked to you. You have put yourself in a very dangerous position. Because your heart is getting hardened. And if you die in your sins, this will be declared upon you. All right, moving on. So, what takes place now? Jesus closed off probation. The Bible says, he comes now with his reward to give every man according as his work shall be. He comes with his reward. That means the decisions have already been made. So, he is on his way. So, when the seven last plagues start to fall upon the world, Jesus is now making his way with his angels to earth. Mercy. Watch this. Watch the first thing that Jesus do. The Bible says he comes through the eastern sky. I wish part east there. Why are so west? So over there so he would have come. Yes? Over there so. And you know which part over there so? St. Thomas. St. Thomas. All right. Men from the east. Yes? He'll be coming in that direction. Now, what does he do? The Bible says, For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the what? Coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. What does asleep mean? Then dead. Yes? For the Lord himself, that means Jesus himself, shall descend from heaven with a what? Shout with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God. Will there be a holy panize? Yes, he now come as no baby again. We know silent business. He might make a holy panize because all the angels are come with him. He might come now. No secret rapture business. He might come. Everybody must hear when Jesus comes. And by the way, brothers and sisters, what was the last miracle that Jesus did before he went to heaven? The last miracle he did was to resurrect Lazarus. That was the last main miracle he did before he left earth. When he come back, what the first thing he might go do? The Bible tells us, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Visitors, what that mean? From Adam and Eve to the last person in our time who accept Jesus will be resurrected. From who? Adam and Eve. So who are God there? Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Jeremiah, David. Who else? Daniel. Who else? Paul. Who else? Yes. And Job are God there. Everybody are God there. They will wake up. They will wake up from the grave because all of them died in Jesus. If you resist the spirit, if you resist the mark of the beast and you died. You will be resurrected too. Nothing can stop Jesus from getting to you. Me see them be, um, bury a whole heap of people over a dove cart, pam, top of them one another. That can't stop you. If you're the bottom and Jesus said, Come forth, you just do, you just bust, you just bust tomb and left people down there, left them down there. Nothing will stop you from coming up in the grave. Praise God for Jesus. He's the life giver. And when you died, he was in your mind. You were in his mind. So he knows exactly how you're dead. He knows exactly where you're there. So no matter if shark did eat you or those who were in the Titanic, they will come up. If those that were um, just died the other day in this um, submersible, if they love Jesus and Jesus judged them to be righteous, they will be resurrected as well. Bless the name of Jesus. First class trip to heaven, brethren. First class. Yeah? May I always tell a story here in a bridging. First class are the best class in a bridging. How many of you have ever traveled? Who don't know about economy class? 
Yes, where your foot there, where your foot there, then rub up on the, on the back seat and all of them things there. Yeah, I remember the first time. I always talk about this in my present. I remember the first time I was traveling. I was going to Canada. I was going to Canada, brothers and sisters. And when I, at the first, me I go up on plane, at the first, me I pass the place for, 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 where the airport there, because most of the time, and my mother, me just go, you know, you know, you remember the days when you used to go up on the waving gallery? Eh? Then days are gone. Not true. Me used to love them. And when first time, when you go to the airport, you know, you're dressing at your best, even though you're not going to wear <laughs> Even though you're not going for it, you dress in your tie, you dress and you dress up yourself. And when your people them are go, you weave. Those were the days. Those were the days, brothers and sisters. And I went, me go by Air Canada. First, me I go on the plane. I me tell you, Bridget, me not allow you, me head swell big. Me head swell big. Me, me, me say, Lord have mercy, me I go for it. And me sit down in a academy class. Then, time, I'm in a business in a Bridget because. Me no business if me are in an economy and me they are first class because you not reach before me if you're in a first class. It no matter. Me just in the plane. Me want to enjoy the flight. Are you understanding what I'm saying, church? And when me sit down, you know, when me sit down and me just look around, you know, say you just come from country, you come from country, you know, know where I go. You just look around and you see TV and you see this and you see that and people are coming and I say good evening and very very me I say wow what a nice place yes man I'm in the NI economy class me and my brother I was sitting there and, he, and, and, and the lady say um, it so happened it so happened that the first class um, part wasn't full because the persons who, who were supposed to travel first class they didn't bother come they didn't bother come so there were spaces up at first class brothers and sisters i mean i tell you when me sit down i mean i take in everything and the and the poor and the, the, the what they call it the ear was this come to me and she said and he, he said um the, my brother was bigger obviously and i was the child i was about maybe 13 14 and he said um mr so-and-so you know what has happened to you um is that the first class the, those persons who uh, were supposed to come, they did not come. So, so would you like to go? Miss, how you mean? I me gone. Me left him. Me no business about him again. Me gone. Me left him. Round her back. And me go for first class, brothers and sisters. First class with the pilot. They right. They saw. And you see them big and comfortable. When me sit down, brothers and sisters, the, my bottom feels soft. Feel nice. Are you understanding what I'm saying, church? I mean, I press button, I mean, foot just go up, so I mean, say, what is mercy, brothers and sisters? Let me tell you something. When Jesus come, first class stripper to those who are going to heaven, hear heaven. Pilot of Jesus. Mercy. And he's now economy class. Everybody in a first class. Glory be to God. And we, as, and you, as, as, as visitors, you don't want to be a part of this? Let's move on. God, time is against me. It says, then we which are alive, hmm? we which are alive and remain, shall be what? Caught up together, together with them in the cloud. So when the, Jesus comes, he resurrects all those that died in Jesus. Resurrect all of them and then begin to rise to meet Jesus in the air. He does not touch the ground. He does not what? Touch the ground. Remember that. Can we all get back to that? He does not touch the ground. Those who are risen in Christ, they go up. Those that are alive, the Bible says they are changed. And they caught up together to meet him where? In the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. So when he come over there, so over the east, so he might go suspend in the air with the angels. The Bible says that he will send the angels to collect his people from all over the world. Those who um, their babies, our children probably had died in a fire or whatever. The Bible says they will be resurrected and brought to the appearance. And they will be brought, they will go up. To meet Jesus in the ear. Lord, may I talk about it and may I tell us, I'm excited. Me excited. The Bible says, Behold, that uh, those of us, it says, Behold, I show you a what? Mystery. We shall not all sleep. There are some people who will be alive, but we shall all be changed. 
Yes? In a moment. In the twinkling of an eye. How fast is that? How fast is that, brethren? It says, at the last trump, for the trump shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. The Bible says, there will be victory over death. The Bible says, we will ask the question, oh, death, where is thy sting? Oh, grave, where is thy victory? Oh, brothers and sisters, what a day that is going to be. Millions and billions of saints those that died during the dark ages some were sawn were sawed in half many of them their heads were cut off before their parents smote a lot of them were burnt at the stake brothers and sisters yeah there was one torture wherein they, they, they made a metal um triangle um thing a triangle seat and it was pointed. And you had to sit on that. You had to sit on that. Why? Because you believe in Jesus. There was another one where they tie your hand behind your back. And they tie your wrist. And what they would do? They would pull you up in the ear. And your hand then flick out, um, out, of, the, out of the shoulder. Those are the things that used to happen. Those people will be resurrected. I remember, Pastor, a couple of years back, maybe some of you may remember it, but the, I think it's down in Iraq, where some men, some orthodox, I think it was orthodox men, they were lined up on the beach. Hmm? And the, 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 what they call them, the terrorists, them, them come over them head with the knife and cut off them head before the world. None of them weren't Adventists, but they believed in Jesus. Jesus says, those whose head were cut off, they will be resurrected. They kept the law, they kept the companion of Jesus, they had a relationship with Jesus as best as they could. They didn't know about the Sabbath and the sanctuary and those things. And when their head was being cut off, many of them were saying, Jesus, Jesus, have mercy on me. Mm. I'm expecting to see those men. They were not Adventists. They were not Christians as we, but they were Orthodox Christians. Co no, not Orthodox. Coptic Christians. Yes. Listen to this. We will be changed. What, will go, what is going to happen? Look at the sixth seal. We are now at the sixth seal. And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal. And lo, there was a great earthquake. And the sun became black as sackcloth of here. And the moon became as blood. And the stars of heaven fell upon the earth. Even as a fig tree cast it on timely figs. When she shaken of a mighty wind. It says, and the heaven departed as a scroll. As a what, brethren? When it is rolled together and every mountain and island were moved out of their places, could that mean Jamaica? Oh, yes. Yeah, man. Could that mean Antigua and Barbados? Yes, they will be moved out of their place. Why? Because of the power of the coming of Jesus. It says, and the kings of the earth, all these politicians, and the great men, and the rich men, hmm, and the chief captains and the mighty men and the and every bondman and every free man hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains these men are lost these people are lost lost and if you notice rich poor everybody unite and said to the mountains and rock what does he what do they say fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the lamb for the great day of his wrath is come and who shall be able to stand nobody nobody can stand the only person them will stand are those who stood in jesus and you have to stand in jesus from when no no so visitors stop fooling around Stop fool around. That day, you can't talk about me. I choose me that boyfriend. I choose me that girlfriend. I choose me that bank account. I choose me couldn't get one job. I choose me couldn't leave me church. No. No. Jesus now going to accept them something. 
Yes? Listen. What happens after that? So, watch this now. The righteous dead are raised. The righteous living are changed. Both groups are caught up to meet Jesus. All right. What happens to the wicked and what happens to the world? It says, in flaming fire. This is what happens to the wicked, those who are alive. In flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not God. And that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. And then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall, be, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. So the wicked are killed by the brightness of Jesus' coming. They are laid waste on the ground. You know why? Because they're full of sin. Sin cannot stand in the presence of a holy God. So the Bible says that our God is a what? Consuming fire. <laughs> So because they never give up them sin, they still have the sin in their life. So when the holy presence of God come, then can't bear it. Then can't bear it. And so it kill them. So dead bodies will be all over the world. Plane a drop out of sky. People a drop off a building. People drown in the sea. All sort of something. Because what? A pure wicked people are going to depend on the earth. The popes, any pope that is there, he will be lost in dead already. Yes? All the wicked will be slain. My God, visitors, do not find yourself in this position. Adventists, by God's grace, let us not find ourselves in this position. Listen to this. Listen to what happens to the earth. I beheld the earth. Remember the power of God has shaken the very foundation of the, of the earth. It says, I beheld the earth and lo, it was without form and void. Have you heard that statement before? Where did you hear that before? In Genesis. So we gone right back to Genesis. Nothing new under the sun, my sister. And the heavens and there, and the heavens, and they had no light. The power of God is so powerful. The coming of Jesus is so powerful. It knock out, it knock out the light them. The sun, everything, the stars, everything, knock out. It says, I beheld the mountains and lo, they tremble. Hmm? And all the hills move lightly. Yeah. I beheld and lo, there was no man. And all the birds of the heavens were fled. You see how powerful it is? I beheld and lo, the fruitful places was a wilderness. And all the cities thereof were broken down at the presence of the Lord and by his fierce anger. So tell me something. Will Kingston be destroyed as well? Yes. Will, be La will Los Angeles, New York, California, San Francisco, Sydney, huh? All of them, Stockholm, London, Mashdong. Because God said, my time now. You get your time. My time now. My time now. All those who did fiesty. And I talk about the world, the one Jesus. Who can talk that day? Huh? I talk about, oh, me a God. Oh, yeah, really? All right. Hmm. It says, For thus saith the Lord, the whole land shall be what? Desolate. Yet, watch this, yet will I not make a full end. In other words, in not done. In not done. In just a pause them. By the way, there is one resurrection that will take place of the wicked. I want you to write down this text. Or those of you online, make sure you write it down. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 7 says that those who pierced him will be resurrected. Matthew 26 verse 64. Matthew 26 verse 64. Jesus was speaking to the Sahindrin council. And he said to them, from here on in, you shall see the Son of Man coming in glory. He was speaking directly to them. So when Jesus come, he will resurrect them. Those soldiers who pierced him, nail him to the cross, 
put tons of arm on his head and all of the, those soldiers will be resurrected as well the Sahinjin council with Anas and Caiaphas and the whole of them they will be resurrected and they are going to see Jesus are come and that is to say Jesus are going to say, is that Jesus has said to them may he tell you may he tell you say me are the son of man me are the son of God see you now see me I show you and he may go put them right back to sleep put them right back to sleep watch this watch this what happens now it says jeremiah 25 33 and the slain of the lord shall be at that day from one end of the earth even unto the other end of the earth they shall not be lamented neither gathered nor buried they shall be dung upon the earth so wicked people from one end of the earth to the next a pure source of dead body source of dead body brethren so watch it the righteous dead the righteous wicked and uh, the righteous uh, the righteous dead the righteous living both of them caught up to meet jesus in the air then gone to heaven the wicked are slain dead nobody know down here the place in absolute darkness and mash up brothers and sisters oh but hold on hold on god no forget somebody who is that? Satan himself. What about him? What is going to happen to him? The Bible tells us. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit, and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon. Who is the dragon? Devil. And the whole serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him. How long? A thousand years and cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more till till the thousand years should be fulfilled and after that he must be loose a little season so what happens to the devil well if you really think about it it's easy to understand if the righteous gone to heaven the wicked dead, the place mash up. Yes? The Bible says he is chained. What is the chain? It is a chain of what? Circumstances. It means he can't move. He not nobody for temp. He not nobody for harass. Everybody got the righteous gone, the wicked dead, so only him alone and in cohorts are down here. He man in cronies them. Hmm? The whole of them down here in utter darkness wandering all over the place what is the reason for that well one of the reasons for that is for his punishment because remember remember what he said i want to be like the most high i want to be god so god say okay you want to be god start from where me start me create the world in six days remember what it said the earth was without form and void. So me make you start when me start. If you are God, me do it in a six days. Me give you a thousand years to do it. Start over back. Build back everything. Start over. Recreate everything. And then me re-rate you. Me give you a thousand years. Ta-ta. Ta-ta. Go ahead and start. Mm-hmm. So he's in absolute misery down here. Because why? He can't get to do when he did want to do. Because the Bible says what? He comes to kill, steal, and what? Destroy. But if you're not, nobody to do that with. You're in a misery. You're in a misery. Yes? I know some people, first time, when we're in our country, you know, I, 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 I used to have some folks who used to come up there, then come from town. And they used to live in a very volatile area, where we call the ghetto. So you know, say gunshot a bus every time, every minute. You understand? So when they come a country, what do you think happened to them? Too quiet, my brother. It's too quiet. They can't take it. They want to hear the gunshot. They want to hear the holy cussing. They want to hear the ray ray. And what? You know, you only hear me. The only source of goat. Moo go. Pini Wali, Dagabak, Nutnagwan, them bored, they can't take it. They don't stay along. 
They don't still, they can't deal with it because they used to that. And the same thing with the devil. He used to kill, steal, and destroy. He can't do that again. So he mean a misery. What happens to the saints? They are on their way to heaven. So they reach heaven now. Who gets in to go into heaven? Watch this now, visitors. Revelation 22, verse 14. Read with me. Blessed. Start over again. Wait, say. Blessed. One more time. Blessed. Blessed are they that do his what? Mm -hmm. That they may have what now? Right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. The city called New What? Jerusalem. So who have the right to go in there? Those who are keep the commandments. Include what? Yes. Yes. Yes, who, who keep the Sabbath as well? Yes. Will they keep Sabbath in heaven? Yes. Yes. So, tonight, for the last two weeks, if you still I keep Sunday after this, you're wasting your time because God says in vain. Do they worship me? Teaching for doctrines. The commandments of men. You know why? If you never did know. Fine. And you're dead and you keep. You do your best to worship Jesus. Fine. That's fine. But for those of you who are visitors and you are here. And for the last two weeks you have been hearing about the Sabbath. Next week I'm going to confirm it. You're hearing about God's commandments. God's laws. That you can't keep God's law. God will write it upon your heart. God will assist you. The Bible says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You don't have no excuse. You can keep it by God. Because brothers and sisters, only law keepers go heaven. Because what? It is a kingdom. Kingdom have rulers. Kingdom have rules. So you can't go up there, go do where you feel like. You can't go up there, go just do where you feel like. That's why thief can't go up there. You know why? Because they might go take off the pearly gate and go sell. They might go melt up the, the streets of gold. We sell for cash for gold. Then can't go up there. Are you understanding what I'm saying, church? If you are telling lie, you can't go up there. Because liars do not reside in heaven. Did you catch that, brothers and sisters? If you are... Look here, brethren. Hmm? If you're covetous, you can't go up there. Because what? Up there too pretty. You're going to want to covet everything. Yes. If you practice um, homosexuality, don't even bother think about it. Don't even bother think about it. Don't even bother think about it. Because there will be no rainbow flags up there. Not one rainbow flag. All homosexuals who up there have been now converted. Hmm? If you're an adulterer and you practice it and you, go, you can't go up there. Why? Because you're going to see people, pretty wife and handsome husband and want to take them and that can't happen up there. Did you catch that, brethren? So a law abiding people up there. Oh, Lord have mercy. Me forgot. We have to go cut off of the meat too, because you're not going to eat it up then. <laughs> Jesus help me. No, my body. No. <laughs> no curry goat now go up there. No jerk, nothing, no jerk, chicken, not even fish. I go up there, go cook. Now look here. I am not saying that you should do that same time because what? It's a health thing. So you take your time. Amen? Yes. But there are some animals that you, even if they eat that, 
Then now go eat that up there. So pork now go up the feet. Pork is not going to be up there to eat. None at all. Yes? So those of us who think when you go to heaven, you're going to see big jerk pan. And Jesus had turned jerk and jerk leg. No. That now go up there. That now go talk to me, Adventist. Help message. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Moving on. Because time is against me. So what happens up there? You go up there. The Bible says, in the kingdom, you will meet the, um, Isaac, Jacob, and Abraham. You will meet and talk to these people. Talk to these men. Amen? The Bible says you will get your crown. You will get your reward. Yes? You will get to know Jesus. The Bible says, during this time, you will do a work of judgment. A work of what? Judgment. What kind of judgment is that? Because, Berkey, didn't the judgment just go on already? Yes. But this is a different kind of judgment. This judgment is for us to review the books. We are to find out why the wicked was lost. That's why we are, that's one of the reasons why we are going there. Your brother never make it. Your mother never make it. Your friend them never make it. Your, your pastor never make it. Your elders never make it. Why? Why they never? And Jesus will go open up the books and say, see? I mean, they do everything for try to save them. And we are going to read people's lives. That's why. That is why. In this judgment, we are going to know you must go and ask for forgiveness and repentance so that your record will be covered. So nobody now go see what you did I do. Nice. But if you never repent, everything will be recorded. The Bible says, Paul says, judge not anything before the time. What does that mean? Everything that we had a question mark on, we will go up there to find out what it is all about. Every secret that we did not understand. That's why Paul says, now you see through a glass darkly. But when you go up there, you will see it more clearly. That's why he said, don't judge before the time. So when Jim Brown, a lot of people have a question about Jim Brown, how he dead, you will find out that. You will find out why your mother was allowed to have cancer. You will find out about the Bermuda child. Anything where you were having questions about the Tivoli incursion. We're going to find out about it. What happened in COVID? In COVID, we are going to find out who was behind it. And who orchestrated it. Hmm? We are going to find out, brothers and sisters. Hmm? So we are, going to, we are going to search the books. We are, going to search, we are going to ask Jesus all the questions that we wanted to ask. And we did not get the answer. We will get the answer up there. Amen, church? A lot of embracing. It's going to go on for a thousand years. We're going to spend the time with Jesus a thousand years. While the devil is down here suffering, we will be up there enjoying and judging and coming to terms with the decisions that Jesus has made. And that we are going to do up there. And the fact of the matter is, visiting friends, boys, um, brothers and sisters, because many of our family members, sadly, Many of our friends will be lost. We need some satisfaction. We need to understand why. And God is so open. He's more than willing to show you everything. And I saw, Lord have mercy. I saw you are going to see the secrets of those who you thought were holy. Who you thought were wonderful people. And when you're looking at the book, you're going to say, M I saw that man did hate me. It will be a very sad time. Very sad time. It's not something where we are going, where we are going to love to see. So, hey, this is the reason why he never make it. Why she never make it. And children. Yeah, you, your names will be there too if, if you don't repent. 
That is what we are going to be doing. It says, and I saw thrones and they sat upon them and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were what now? Beheaded for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God. And which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither have received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. And they lived and reigned with Christ how long? A thousand years. A thousand years. So, listen to what happens now. When Jesus comes, we have the first resurrection. Jesus said it in John chapter 5, I believe verse 29 or 28 to 30, where he says there are two resurrections. You have the first resurrection and you have the second resurrection. The first resurrection happens at his second coming. The second resurrect the first resurrection happened at his second coming. This second uh, resurrection happened after the thousand years is finished. That one is for the wicked. Listen to it says we have the first resurrection happens at his first coming yes then as jesus come satan will be bound yes he will be bound for a thousand years as the second so if the second coming start, uh, come tonight the thousand years begin when tonight yes it begins and satan is bound tonight yes so then we move from there when we are in heaven now we spend a thousand years and we go all the way now to the end of the thousand years. Then we have the second resurrection. Which is the resurrection of the wicked. Resurrection of the who? The wicked. Alright. So here we go now. Jesus, we don't satisfy now. That what Jesus had done was right. Was right. He made the right decision on all the souls that were lost. He made the right decision. So... We come back with him now. The thousand years is finished. We come back down with him with the city. Watch this. I behold, behold, the Lord cometh with 10,000 of his saints to execute judgment upon all, meaning the wicked, and to convince all. Note that word, convince. All that are ungodly, among them of all their ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed and of all their hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against him so jesus comes down now with the new jerusalem with the saints to raise the wicked to execute judgment upon them watch this and his feet shall stand in that day no question when he came the second time if he comes now will he touch the ground no he won't touch the ground but when he comes this time, will he touch the ground? Yes. And his feet shall stand it that day upon the Mount of Olives. Where did he go up from? Mount of Olives. So he might come back right this up. It says, which is before Jerusalem on the east. So where will Jesus actually land? East over, over in a Jew. Uh, no, sorry. I waste that. East. <laughs> east where Jerusalem now is. That's why the city is called the New Jerusalem. Because that one is the old one. It says, uh, where am I? Which is before Jerusalem and the east, and the Mount of Olives shall cleave in the midst thereof toward the east and toward the west. And there shall be a very great valley, and half of the mountain shall be removed toward the north, and half of it toward the south. What that mean? When Jesus land, he will clear the way. He might go excavate the place so that the new Jerusalem city can come down. Are the best construction worker, not a tractor needed, not a heavyweight equipment. When Jesus land, the mountain just move and clear the way because the new Jerusalem city coming right there. Mercy. Oh God, I want to see that. I want to see that. Now, brothers and sisters, what happens? The wicked are now resurrected. Listen to this. And I saw a great white throne. A what? Great white throne. And him that sat on it from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away. And there was no place for them. Talking about the wicked. You remember when Jesus says, um, what did he say? Um, I go to prepare a what? A place for you. That word place doesn't mean physical place. It means your position. Because the Bible says, 
they are in my father's house are many mansions so the mansion ended they are ready your place is your position you know like when you're in a line and you say keep me space at the same idea so when the bible says there is no place for them it means them now have no place in a heaven them now have no place in a god's kingdom they are absolutely lost it says and i saw the dead that word dead don't just mean them dead where they just resurrect but they mean dead to god meaning they are dead to god then can't change again then dead to god small and great stand before god and the books were open and another book was open which is the book of life and the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their what works so when jesus resurrect the wicked he brings to their conscience the things that cause them to be lost why because god is fear they must see why they have been lost why they are not in the kingdom why god can't accept them so visitors you see tonight after tonight if you reject jesus reject his commandments reject his sabbath if you come up in this resurrection you will see tonight and that it mean you are going to see tonight and your conscience this them are going, it are going to come back to your brain and it are going to say you remember when Berkey did the attack but this time a day so you they know don't even bother pray <laughs> that now help you your last run thousand years ago who are the people who will come up in this resurrection people like adolf hitler mussolini idi amin they will come up in this resurrection yes natty morgan if he never turn in life to jesus napoleon um alexander the great them are gonna come up in this resurrection all of the all of the popes them going come up in this resurrection all of the cardinals them going come up in this way all of the pastors who have been teaching that the that 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 the commandments are done away with and nailed to the cross them are gonna come up in it though they're going to come up if they never repent they will come up in it too all of the members them will reject the sabbath they will come up in this resurrection too and you now come up in the resurrection and all adventists who rejected the, the, the three angels message will come up in this too they will come up in this too our some of our pastors if they never repent notice if they never repent will come up in this too the gang members in this community if you do not repent of your ways you will come up in this resurrection too gang leaders those of you who love to smoke ganja drink rum beat up your wife beat up your girlfriend hmm? rip off the picnic them kill him at in picnic in a 2004 and nobody no know we know now we know now you will come up in this resurrection too if they no repent wicked generals will come up in this if putin no repent he may go come up in this too hmm? yes they're going to come up in this and by any extension prime minister Olness, if 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 you do not repent like everybody else if you happen to watch this movie or this this <laughs> this this interaction me love you you know me love you i think you want to go in the right direction but if you don't repent, sir, no matter what you're, you're going to say, your parliament can't save you. 
you will come up in this resurrection as well. Donald Trump, if you don't repent, Joe Biden, Justin Trudeau, if you don't repent, those of you who are listening, and all of the WHO people, them, if they don't repent, Fauci, all of them, them, Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, if they don't repent, they will come up in this resurrection too. Their money can't save them. Their money can't save them. We're moving on. And the sea gave up the dead which are in it. And death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them, meaning from the grave. And they were judged, every man according to their works. So you can't escape. All right. Watch this. The devil gone right back to where he was and the people follow him when they resurrect when jesus resurrected him you know what i'm gonna tell them say i know him resurrect you i mean i me resurrect you and he will fool the people again what did the bible say after the thousand years he will come out of his prison and he will be loose for a little season and when the thousand years are expired satan shall be loose out of his prison and shall go out to deceive the nations. Just like what he did a thousand years ago. Has he changed? No. Has the people changed? No. Which are in the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle. The number of whom is as the sand of the sea. Can't count. In comparison to them when in the city, a whole leap. The city little bit. The, city, the amount of people in the city little bit in comparison. It says, and they went upon the breadth of the earth and compassed the camp of the saints about and the beloved city. Question, why is it called the camp of the saints? What is a camp? Temporary place. So, will we live in the city? No. The Bible says the meek shall what? Inherit the earth. So the city is just the metropolis. We are going to go there. Go, as a matter of fact, the kingdom of God, the throne of God, will be moved from heaven down here. So, so Yaso are going to be the center of Jesus' um, kingdom. So every Sabbath, we're going to go there to worship. Every Sabbath. And whenever time he wants us to come. Hmm? But the meek shall inherit the earth. The Bible says in Isaiah that we will build houses and inhabit them. Amen? We will work. So, hey, hey. Who did things that we are going to go him go eat candy and get fat? <laughs> that not going to happen. You have to work. You have to work. No lazy people now go up there. Now, at least not go down here. They're not going to be lazy. You are going to build house. You are going to use your brain. The spirit of prophecy says, we will have the ability to move from planet to planet. What a time. What a time. And you can't dead again. Can't dead again. Mercy. It says, and fire. The Bible says that the city will be in Jerusalem. New Jerusalem. It will be down there in Jerusalem because it will be the new Jerusalem. And when the wicked wake up, what then do? Then come to attack the city just like how them behaved a thousand years ago. The we are then dead, I saw them come up. So when they come, they see the city, it's pretty, they want it. So all weeks, you have people like, um, you have people like, like Adolf Hitler and the rest of them, then come as generals and I figure out how them to attack the city. How them, all Napoleon, them, them are strategize. Yes, all the Roman soldiers, them, them are going to sit down and talk. Well, we need to attack it from this hand, and we need to use this technique, and we use, and them are going to spend weeks and build weapons and all sort of something. All sort of something, them are going to do their build, just like how they were before. And the Bible says, as they attack the king, as they, they are about to attack the kingdom, the Bible says they are judged for what they were doing, for what they had been doing a long time ago. And the Bible says, fire come down. 
and devour them, brothers and sisters. You know, when you devour something, when you devour food, what that mean? Nothing no left. Not no left. Look at this, brothers and sisters. Matthew 25, verse 41. Look here, visitors. I yes, so you are going to end up if you, if you reject Jesus, you know. Adventists, all are we, including myself. If we reject Jesus, I yes, so we are end up, you know. Look here. Matthew 25, verse 41. Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, Depart from me. He cursed. You know why they must say that? During this time of judgment for the wicked, you know when the for them are gonna come, especially the Christian them. The Christian them, they're going to come to Jesus and say, But Jesus, didn't we work miracles on your behalf? Didn't we feed the poor on your behalf? Didn't we do this and do that in your name? And where Jesus are gonna say, Depart from me, ye workers of what? iniquity what is iniquity lawbreakers lawbreakers listen it says depart from me he cursed into what everlasting fire what prepared for the who devil and his angels at that it did make for and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire this is the what now second death and whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. The second death, brothers and sisters, this is what Jesus experienced for you and me. On the cross of Calvary, the second death is what he faced for you and me. You know why it not kill him? You know why it not destroy him? Because there was no sin in him. That's why it never kill him. The Bible says he bore our sin. He became our sin bearer. But there was no sin in him. So that's why he couldn't kill him. So what he bore, I you figure to it. But he said, let me take it. And those visitors, if you accept Jesus Christ, he cover you. He cover you. He said, where you're supposed to go through, you take me, take it on for you. So you're not going to go through it then. Praise the Lord. So that's why he do what my do. That's why he's doing what he's doing now. That's why he went up on the cross. Jesus said, just go up on the cross, you just get nailed for sure off, you saying you're dead. He went up there to save you and me. And that thing do. So like our train, a con con lick you, Jesus push you out of the way and you take the lick. We are going to close off now. But watch this now, visitors. It's not done. The same fire that burned the wicked, they are forever gone. The Bible says they will not even come back into memory. Everything is burned. The same fire that burns the wicked cleanses the earth. And remakes the earth one more time. You are going to see. And I want you to think about this. And this is my summarization, pastor. After the wicked have been destroyed. Jesus says he's going to clean up the earth and form a new earth. Watch this. Isaiah 66. This is my final slide. Isaiah 66, verse 22 and 23. Listen to these visitors. For as the new heavens and the new earth, which I will make, who will make it? God, Jesus. Pause, pause. Think about it. If Jesus is going to burn up the wicked, burn up the devil, everybody gone, sin will be destroyed, death will be destroyed, he will remake the world again. Think about it. The Bible says he will make. Shall remain before me, saith the Lord. So shall your seed and your name remain. And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another. And from one, sa say it again, Sabbath to another. Shall all flesh come to do what? Worship. All right. So will the Sabbath be kept in the new earth? Yes. 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 Will Sunday still be there as a day? Yes. 
But it is not a worship day like Sabbath. You know what this means to me? To me? When Jesus cleaned up the earth, he's going to remake the world in six days again. This time, not like when in Adam time, when Adam was asleep and he didn't see, he couldn't even, he didn't even know when Eve met. That's why men, you must never try to figure out women because you did a sleep when she didn't met. Hmm? Yes, she does, he, you does sleep. So you're not going to figure her out. All right? I believe, listen to this, I believe Jesus will take six days again to remake the world. This time, the Bible says, faith will now become what? Sight. So you're going to see Jesus I do the work. I remake everything from scratch just like he did in Genesis. And it's going to take how much day? And then we rest when? The seventh. So when Sabbath come, the first time here on earth, hallelujah. Because what? Faith has now become sight. We see. We know a long, long time, you know. But we see Jesus in action. And that is powerful. You know why? Because Jesus has not created anything since he has made man. So he will start create again after he clean up the earth. And he might go start over. Sure. I don't me done. I don't me done. I don't me done, don't me done with this messenger. For tonight. Visitors. May I tell you the truth? Me don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say to you in order for you to accept Jesus. If you hear this and it not convince you, well, well, me don't know what else to do. Me just have a prayer and ask God to come into your heart. Before you start praying, Brother Garden, me, me, what time is it, Brother Garden? What time is it? It's nine o'clock. Thank you so very much. I'm going to stop now. Don't play yet, Brother Garden. This is so serious. I mean, me now stay along upon this because I think me do my best for sure. Your wagwan. Hmm? Me now I hear no music or nothing yet. I mean, I go say to the visitors first. I mean, uh, Linga. See, she knew, she knew already, you know. Because look here, I am saying this to the visitors. Look. Your time is short now. I think I've shown you everything that you need to see in order to come to Jesus. So, tonight. Tonight is Wednesday. We're going to have baptism on Sabbath coming. Do you still want to stay where you are? And remain in your sin and die after you hear this? Well, I'm going to challenge you right now. May I take off all my tie? And may I ask you, may I ask you as a visit? May I ask you as a visitor? Bear with me, brethren. Now just, just a minute. May I ask you as a visitor? If tonight's message made an impact on your life and you believe the message tonight, it makes sense to you. I am asking you to take a walk for Jesus tonight. I am not going to linger very long for this. When I look over my past evangelistic campaigns, I don't think I'm a good appealer. You know why? Because I study long and hard to bring these truths to you. I'm going to try my best to bring it to your understanding so that you don't have no reason to say, 
You know, so me not understand that. That no make no sense. Tonight, let me see all those who believe that this message made a lot of sense to you. Just raise your hands. So, visitors, may I ask you if you come? Me not going to stay long. People want God in the yard. Me not stay long on this. At 9 o'clock now. At your soul salvation, there's going to be a baptism on, on Sabbath. And we're asking you to come and give your heart to Christ. That, that we're asking if you do. I don't want you to think. We are acting like me. I ask you if you come sit down and kneel. God wants you to be saved. And I'm asking you. Let the spirit of God empower you tonight. To come. I am not going to ask you to come and shake my hand just for just shake hand. I am asking you to take a walk. Take a step for God tonight. My goodness gracious me. What more could God do for you? Brother Montague, is that you? I'm going to ask you to come, come pray, Brother Montague. I don't know what else to say. It's not a good appeal. A pastor good better than me with that. I don't, I don't, look here. I don't, I don't do this. I don't do this with you no know, visitors. I don't do this with you no. Know. No, I don't do this. I don't beg. I am not begging. I am not begging. Are your salvation? You stay where you are. You stay where you are. Brethren, I hope you're not offended by what I just said. I hope you're not offended. I am not going to make any long appeal to any of you. I love you the same way. I think I've done my best to prove that Jesus is coming. I do everything. I do everything. And will not one of you take a walk and say, Jesus, I receive you into my heart tonight. That's the first appeal. Is there one who would like me to pray with that? Pray with you? Because you recognize that, hey, it is difficult. Me want to come, but me afraid. Me want you to pray for me. I am not going to make any long appeal. Five minutes just gone. Me now stay long on this. Me now stay long on this. Me tired for do this. Me tired for do this. So we can stay there. You think this is a joke? I didn't present this for a show. I present this because I want you to be saved. So, brethren, even now the door is still open. So, brethren, I'm gonna ask you, um, brother. Garden, play something for us. And I'm going to ask the brethren to stand now. We're done with the appeal. We're done, we're done. Brother Montague is going to pray for us. And the songwriter says, Still open, still open. The 
the door is still open. Help my unbelief. Pastor, look around if there's anybody who wants to come. Just hold them hand and guide them. Raise your hands if you need help to walk to the altar. You want somebody to walk with you. Pastor is there. Members are there. We're appealing to you. Do not. Do not pass me by. All right. Savior. Thank you so very much, my sister. You have been a blessing to my heart tonight. Just before Brother Montague is going to pray, I'm still making that appeal to that person. I am not just calling you up here for prayer. I am asking you to accept Jesus as your Savior tonight. That's what I'm asking you. I'm not asking you just to come and pray. Fine, you want to come for prayer? No problem. But I want serious people now who say yes to Jesus and no to the enemy. You are saying tonight, Jesus, you are clear. You are clear. And I want to be saved in that eternal kingdom. Take me, Lord. I surrender to you. I surrender. Church will not save you. Pastors will not save you. Your friends or your family will not save you. 